Hey, are you a graphic designer or a graphic artist? Good, I'm glad you're here. This video is gonna be super helpful, but first I need to play a quick clip that's gonna help you give some clarity on what a graphic artist is. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Now this just in, police uh, officers in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, were asking people to be on the lookout for a man who robbed a store. And I think, yeah, I think we do, we do have his description. Can we take that? Let's take his description. Okay, this is the guy there. Uh, they, want, they wanted people in Pennsylvania to be out on the lookout for. He's got, uh, he's got a nose and some hair that goes like that, and he was, uh, he was wearing a hat at the time of this particular, particular crime. He's got kind of a chin that comes down to a, almost a point. Stands about five feet four inches tall. There it is. Get a good look for yourself. Oh, and now I'm getting word that police actually caught this guy. Thanks to the sketch, no doubt. So, here's a picture of the real guy next to the sketch that led to his arrest. Where's the pointy chin? It's uncanny, Lisa. <laughs> uh, the, the guy uh, on the left is now charged with two counts of theft. Is being held in the Lancaster jail. And I say give that sketch artist a raise. So, what'd you think? Pretty clear difference between what an artist and a designer is. Pretty good art, huh? I'm just kidding, but I wanted to clearly differentiate and get some things out in the air, out in the open, to differentiate what the difference is between a graphic artist and a graphic designer. So we're gonna jump into that and I'm gonna explain what the two are. So you're probably here today because you're trying to decide whether you're gonna be a graphic designer in your title or a graphic artist in your title. And in the beginning of my career, I really struggled with this. As a lifelong artist, I started drawing in the first and second grade. I've been drawing my entire life. I didn't wanna lose that identity as artist and go fully into being a designer. So I wanted to make a video that's gonna help you bring clarity to that and really help you plant your seed of who you are and what you do. And just keep in mind, that stuff may change in the future. So at first glance, these two roles may look the same, but I assure you they're totally different. And so I wanna give you some clear lines, some clear differentiators that are gonna help you establish whether you're a graphic designer or a graphic artist in the graphic design industry. And you may have heard me say this before, but the riches are in the niches. And graphic arts is definitely a niche down within the graphic design space. So let's look at what an artist is first. According to Wikipedia, a person engaged in an activity related to creating art, practicing arts or demonstrating an art. The common usage in both everyday speech and academic discourse refers to the practitioner and the visual arts only. So here's really the simplest way to define the two. A graphic artist creates the assets for a specific project and then can pass it along to a graphic designer to put together or modify for the final project. So the graphic artist creates those assets where the graphic designer puts things together or modifies it to make it the final version. Here's the twist though. A graphic designer can be both designer and artist, whereas most graphic artists are not designers. They like to specialize. So I wanna read you a famous quote by a well-known graphic designer by the name of Milton Glaser. You may have heard of him, it's kind of a big deal. He said, art is important to survival for culture. It is the highest status and highly respected and sophisticated. It's persistent and the distinction between what things are and what they were. I love that quote by Milton Glaser and I love Milton Glaser overall. He's been a pioneer of the graphic design industry so I wanted to share that. I thought that would be super helpful in defining what art is from his perspective. Now, you could do me a huge favor and support this channel if you love this content by hitting the subscribe button down below and introduce yourself. I'd love to get to know you and tell me, do you know who Milton Glaser is? So here are five things that I wanted you to take a special note of when you're comparing the two, a graphic designer and a graphic artist. Point number one, a graphic artist does not need to know how to draw. There are a lot of very talented graphic designers out there that are not artists. Point number two, a graphic artist may not know how to put together the layout of a marketing piece. Point number three, a graphic designer can be a mixture of both artist and designer, but may lean more towards artist or more towards designer. Point number four, a graphic designer has more creative freedom to just come up with whatever ideas may come to his mind, where a graphic designer has to have more structure for their layout, their specs, their size, their bleeds. There's a lot that goes into being a graphic designer versus being an artist and having more of that creative freedom. So something to take into consideration. And point number five, a graphic designer communicates visual concepts and communicates ideas. 
So now that we've got that all cleared up, what I would like from you is to drop a comment below. Are you a graphic designer or are you a graphic artist? Or maybe a little bit of both. Which one do you lean more towards? I wanna hear from you, so definitely drop a comment down below. The last and very important point that I wanna make goes back to what I said in the beginning about the riches being in the niches. One of my mentors told me early on that you have to follow the demand. And there is a ton of demand for graphic designers and for graphic artists. But if you're a graphic artist, I want you to start considering leveling up and learning the principles of graphic design. And if you're a graphic designer, you should start leveling up your skills on the content, layout, and overall messaging strategy and become more of a creative director. So that's it. I hope this now clearly defines for you whether you're a graphic artist or a graphic designer. I wanted to give you some different things to look at, some different bullet points, so I hope this helped. Don't forget that down in the description, there's a link and I wanna personally invite you to the Instagraphics Pro Network. It's a community of the best designers on the planet. Motion design, web design, and graphic design. That's it for this video, but I would love to see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, keep looking up.